Hi, Ross Cantor here. Today I'll be showing you our mobile application, OutreachMD, which provides clinicians with instant access to results on iOS and Android devices. It can be branded and listed within the respective app stores for your laboratory, provides critical and new notifications, and is HIPAA compliant. No data is ever stored on the device and a login is required every time you open the application. The logger credentials are the exact same credentials that you would utilize on, an, on our web provider portal. And I'm going to show you the application now. Before I log in, I'll mention that I'm utilizing the Face ID, but alternatively, you can type in your password or utilize Touch ID depending on your device. So the first screen that will open up once I am logged in is the results inbox. Now we're pulling down this information from LifePoint and displaying it within the application. Again, this displays how we are uh, only viewing or displaying information on the application and no data is being stored on the device. To view the report that I wanted to see, I will just click on a particular patient, in this case, Mary Bentley. And the results are listed with the panel names bolded and then in any of the analytes listed below. And I can scroll down and view any of these results. Uh, it will display the critical flags or abnormal flags in red. In this case, I have a high sodium value at 150. I can also view additional information here, such as patient information or order information. And I can also view the PDF. In some cases, there are comments or textual based information that can only be displayed on a, on a PDF. So you can pinch and zoom to find that information and, or scroll around. We'll display the labs PDF here or render a LifePoint PDF format. You can also print this PDF to an AirPrint printer. Going back to the inbox, we can also set filters. In this case, I've set a filter for critical values, but alternatively can also filter out for certain providers or different disciplines such as pathology. I can also search for a patient in the inbox as well. So I can type in just a few letters. In this case, I'm typing in Washington and I am viewing two results for George and one for Martha. If you click on the menu tab, you'll also be given some other functions. So I can click on patients and this will provide me with a result history on a given patient. So again, I'll type in Washington and I only have to type in a few letters and it'll find any patient that meets that criteria. And in this case, I have George and Martha. I'm going to click on Martha and it'll view any of the test history that's available for Martha. Now, if I want to view their report again, I could just click on that report and it'll view that result. Clicking on the menus button again, I can display help information, which gives a video tutorial of the, the application. And I also can display settings, which allows me to toggle on and off the touch ID or face ID, as well as the alerting functions. And that's just how easy it is for clinicians to view reports on their mobile device. Thank you, and please be sure to view our other videos.